All right, mixer inserts. What are they used for and how do you use them? So for today, we're going to be using this analog mixer. It's a Soundcraft EPM-8. It's an eight channel mixer, two stereo returns and a master output. Uh, in this case, each mic input has an insert and the master output also has a pair of inserts, right? Inserts are usually up here, right below the mic inputs. In terms of signal flow, uh, inserts tap the signal post-gain, pre-EQ, and pre-fader. Now, what does all of that mean? Uh, quite simply, as the name implies, inserts are a way for you to insert some form of channel processing and audio processing in between the mic input and the rest of your channel, right? So inserts act both as an input and an output in such a way where it outputs the mic input. So you're tapping the signal, so it will output that signal. It'll go through some form of outboard gear and audio processing, and it'll all come back through the same connector, all right? That's why Typical cables for your inserts are these types of cables. You've already seen this before. It's your typical TRS cable, your tip, ring, and sleeve cable, okay? Where the usual configuration of inserts on a mixer is the tip is the send and the ring is the return, all right? So the tip will tap the signal in the channel. It'll bring that signal to the other tip into your outboard processing gear. That outboard gear will process the audio. It'll return that signal to the ring, okay? Then it'll go back into the ring on the other side and it's going to inject that process signal down your channel strip, right? Down your mixer channel, okay? Provided your outboard gear accepts TRS cables, all right? Another common insert cable is a cable like this, right? Where you have a TRS cable on the other end, similar to the other one, but the other end is split into two TS mono cables, right? In this case, for this Hossa cable, you can see that the black one is the tip and the red one is the ring, okay? And that's very important because uh, that's how you determine which plug goes into the input and which plug goes into the output, right? Again, because the insert connector acts both as an input and an output. So let's try this in action. We're going to be connecting this mic into the mixer and then we're going to be connecting and inserting some of these outboard effects that we have currently. All right, so we're going to connect our recorder first. Okay, so that's going into input one and two of this H4N recorder. And this is a dynamic mic, SM57. I'm gonna connect my headphones. Check, 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 mic check, one, two, one, two, check, mic check, one, two. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Check, mic check, one, two, one, two, check, mic check. Okay, that was a PFL gain check. Here we go. Into the H4N. Check, mic check, one, two. All right, there we go. Check, check. Just trying to match levels. Check, check, check. Check, mic check. All right, there we go. So we've got dynamic mic on channel eight, right? No EQ uh, going into the H4N, okay? So we're gonna try and insert a reverb into channel eight, okay? Reverbs are not usually used for inserts. They're usually used for send effects, but that's a lesson for another day. So we'll take our insert cable. T 
TRS into the insert. And if you noticed, uh, we lost signal, of course, because uh, we broke the connection at the moment. Again, uh, of course, always double check the manual of your uh, analog mixer, but common configurations are tip is where the input goes and the ring is where the output goes. Check, check, check. So right now we've got audio coming in to the H4N again. I'm going to turn on the reverb. Check. Nothing happening yet. We've got zero, uh, zero percent mix or all dry, no wet. I'm going to push it up. Check. Check. Yeah. You guys get the idea, right? So we've, so we've effectively, I'm going to turn it off for the, for the moment. Uh, you've effectively inserted this outboard effects gear into your channel strip, right? So you can definitely add reverb to taste as an example, right? There, 30% wet. And then you can EQ after the fact. So I want it brighter, check. Less mud, more mid. Of course, that's a very bad example, but you guys get the point, right? Uh, you can now process that reverb pre-EQ. You can EQ that reverb if you wish, if that's the channel insert that you wish to use. But then again, typical insert effects are usually along the lines of the Essers, EQs, compressors and limiters, especially for dynamic mics that are meant for vocals and spoken word. Uh, outboard gear such as this. This is a two-channel compressor limiter and gate. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, we can also try this, okay? So we've got inserts coming in, TRS into the insert patch. Over here at the back, channel one, you've got XLR inputs and outputs, TS mono inputs and outputs. You've got a pad switch. You've even got a side chain insert uh, in case you want, uh, let's say music to duck. Uh, your dialogue or your spoken word uh, or let's say you've got background music in an event and all your dialogue mixes uh, will will uh, cause the sidechain compression to work on the music uh, as long as you've got someone speaking but anyway sidechain compression is a, a lesson for a different day again so again tip goes to input and ring goes to output Check, check, check. Okay, we got signal happening. I'm going to turn off the gate first. All right, so we've got a lot of gain reduction happening. Uh, threshold is at minus 40. Uh, bump it up a bit. Okay, so we're crossing the threshold. Four is to one ratio. Fast attack. Slow release. There we go. Check. Check. Very slow release. So we're going to... Hasten the release there. Check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Okay, and output compensation gain. Check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Right, so we've got healthy gain reduction there. Uh, well, it depends, you know, depends on the type of speaker you've got. Uh, setting a compressor, again, is a, a lesson for a different day. And you've got a limiter, right? So basically, you've now inserted this outboard gear into that channel strip right there your mixer channel uh, number eight for this particular mic okay all right so that's what mixer inserts are and how to use them i hope you learned something and i'll see you guys in the next one